Too. Did you hear the new Sexy Red song? No, what's that? Oh, Drake it's is Drake a guest feature on it. And they, well, it's like a different beat for most of it, and it's like a pretty good Sexy Red song. And then he does a guest ber- verse, and like halfway through it, the BBL Drizzy oh, nice. beat. And I'm like, I mean, he wins, honestly. That's it. <laughs> I think I think we can finally fun, proclaim yeah. a victor. You know what I mean? You think he won? No, I really oh, I was like, oh my God, Murphy. <laughs> no. That's crazy. No, but... You know, I think that was a fun little, like, what do you call it? The thing that happens after the book. <laughs> epilogue. Yeah, epilogue. epilogue, dude. It was a nice epilogue. It was yeah. like a one year over, later. Though. Yeah. Because, like, if Kendrick puts out, like, another album soon, then, like, yeah. that's that's c- coming up again. Yeah. You know? God, what, I'd what be so Obama embarrassed. Kind of I wonder I if Obama's going to get involved, dude. He's gonna he, put "Not Like Us" on his song. Yeah, oh, that would be his, so funny. On his like autumn playlist, he's friends with, or whatever. He's friends with too many pedophiles. Yeah, to, to do that. Yikes. But. Yikes. Yeah. But folks, speaking of being friends with pedophiles, welcome. Well, to no, the show. I'm kidding. We got the original yeah. crew back yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been together in a while. I know. Aw, I missed you guys. Hey, I missed you too. Yeah, it was fun. You guys did a girls episode. Girls episode was so fun. That's fun that it you was, guys got to do that. It was so <laughs> get girly. it out of your system. <laughs> yeah, we did. I was like, we gotta talk about. We gotta break down the walls of of uh, Jericho. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's hey, a whoa, d- different that? episode. Hey, <laughs> Stay tuned, <laughs> people. <laughs> we gotta break down the yeah. the walls of expectation and really step out of the box, and then we were like. <laughs> just immediately talking about everything you'd expect. When you say walls and box, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, hey, what's, hey, we got to listen hey, to this we're back. episode. We're back to you the thought we were going to change our ways. <laughs> hey, Sorry. scumber freaking party, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and by the way, it's a fucking movie and a uh, snack and a story, asshole. <laughs> All right, hey. <laughs> For your ears. For right. your ears. Bitch. Who pissed, in, who pissed in your cornflakes over there? <laughs> who pissed in my Waterloo peach? Dude, this one's good. This yeah. Waterloo is good. It's very summery. I've never had a peach one before. Yeah, it's great. I'm a big fan of the ginger lime. Ginger. Oh, mm. my God. I'm a Waterloo. Um, or no, it's like a cit- yeah. citrus lime. It's, yeah, citrus ginger twist. You're right. It is citrus. I hate when you're at a bar and you're like, "What do you guys have for like sparkling water?" And they're like, "We have um Richard's rainwater." Dude, Richard's and it's rain- like it's not the worst Richard's one. rainwater sucks. You're like, ass. it's just a can of water. Yeah, like yeah. I can do that at my house. Yeah, get an empty can, and put water in it. Yeah, thank you. Bitch. Yeah, bitch. I say that to him directly. <laughs> I think my move for the summer is going to be to make ginger syrup and oh. keep it in my in my bag, and then whatever bar I'm at, I'm just going to squirt a little. Uh, ginger syrup into, wow. the, into the water, nice. like whatever sparkling water, and that way I don't have to spend fifteen dollars on a mocktail, which is crazy. Yeah, don't Jesus do that. Christ, right? Have you? They're like it's literally just juice. They're trying to get. Uh, they're trying to get sober people back into drinking. Right. Like, I'm like well, the shit, liquor's I not in here. What's beer, costing you so much? Bucks. Three right. blackberries. Yeah, you want a cranberry and sparkling water? That'll be your life savings. <laughs> but if you want a shot of bottom shelf tequila and a fucking it's vodka cr- soda to the cranium. It's insane. There's one Boom, place two dollars. Oh, a golden hour. They yeah. have mocktails that are like nor they're like five dollars. Or like, horn, yeah. golden horn, golden horn. I don't it? know if it's either. I don't know which one it is. Great place. Though. Check it's out Golden place. Horn if you're in the greater Austin area. Yeah. Do you know just what that is? Is it, it golden? Is it a golden? It's under Barflies, whatever. Yeah, I know what Golden Hour is, the Casey uh, Musgraves album. That's oh. what we were talking about. You know, re- she recently got sober, actually. Oh, oh really? Full circle, what, yeah. what made you think of she that? She put out a shitty song about it. What made me think about it? Oh, I don't know. It's just uh, something else. Uh, Mocktails. Uh, me and Casey have been talking lately. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh nice. Yeah, absolutely. Join, join the Sorbo crew, Getting my on the bus yeah. bus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The must bus? Hell yeah. <laughs> All <laughs> right, buddy. Is it, what's her last oh, yeah. name? Musgraves. Musgraves. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I should know more about her. She's so pretty and talented. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, But, folks... <laughs> Speaking of pretty and talented, um, I brought a movie today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. We got our asses, dude. Yeah, and um, look, we're gonna close out. Well, we got a couple more episodes where we're like picking a director that we've never covered before at random. Yeah, we got a pretty good spread so far. Yep. 
Uh, and I happened to draw um, someone who I'm, I think I'm pretty fond of. I like nice. her body of work. It's Sophia Coppola. Yeah. Very yeah. lovely. Cousin of Nick. Daughter of Francis Ford. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, husband of, or a wife of Ta- Tomas Mars. Yes. Mm-hmm. Former wife Phoenix. of Quentin Tarantino and no. Spike Jones. A former girlfriend of Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't Former married. wife of Spike Jones. Yeah. Oh, you're giving me so Jason much more that I didn't know. Jason Schwartz? Oh, he's a cousin. He's oh, a Coppola. Oh, okay. Jason Schwartzman's a the, Coppola. The Schwartz is strong with her. Okay. Of this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, nice. I knew I knew that she was the daughter, um, but I didn't yeah. know the rest of that. Yeah. It, it's in, like, is Nick Cage's last name Coppola? It's um, Nicholas it? Kim Coppola is like his oh, full name. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Is Did he also he? related to them? Yeah, he's his uh, nephew. I didn't know any of this. Yeah, yeah. That's Where do you find this info? It's just it's a whole family. And people I think, just be, people yeah. just know this. Yeah, yeah. You, you know one Coppola, you know all of them. They're not a tight knit family, yeah. and once they let you in, you really get to know everyone. But it the... does seem like a few of them, Cage included, have tried to be like. I don't really know. Him. I'm the, yeah, yeah. It's like. We weren't. We didn't really grow up together. Not I don't want to be associated with the greatest film director of all time yeah, yeah, and yeah. one of his kids, who also is a pretty good. Well, I mean, they want to be self-made men. They want to be self-made men. Yeah. yeah. They don't want to be called a nepo baby, but too bad. Yeah. Sorry. We're calling you one anyway. I mean, look, if you're a nepo baby, fine. You know, if you can make good shit, then I'm. I don't have an issue with it. Right. Listen, I've. I think we've said this before. I would. Love to be a nepo baby. Absolutely. If I was a nepo baby, I would milk it. I would yeah. do. I would use it every day. Yeah. It's the only reason yeah. people are mad about nepo babies is because they aren't one. Yeah, yeah. Because right. if you were a nepo baby, you would use it all the time. What's the alternative? Like you're just a complete piece of shit, and you just use your parents' money to just collapse your life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's you kind of have one option or the other, and do, if you want to make, make good movies, you know make stuff or don't yeah. yeah what i don't love is like the nepo baby movement that's happening like there's like a thing like a couple of years ago where i think it was like to s- i think it was johnny depp's daughter kind of said a couple things in an interview and then jamie lee curtis put out like an open letter like on behalf of all nepo babies like we are human beings too and we it's like all right calm down you know right. you know you're not you like also, a we group. don't want you to talk too much either yeah 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 are you if you like if you what are you a nepo baby of, Danny? Like currently with your parents? Um, I guess you are kind of a producery nepo baby. Your yeah, dad is a, a little nepo in yeah. here. Your dad's a BBL Drizzy, right? Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad is BBL, BBL Drizzy. BBL Danny, yeah, yeah. 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 BBL Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Murphy, what, what would you be the... Mur- uh, 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 nothing. I mean, I don't the think... I think my parents kind are nepo, nepo babies of me, the- if anything. No, oh, you think they're true. right? Now. <laughs> um, no, they still they still definitely help me out and stuff, but my, they're not. I didn't grow up. I grew up with pastors and teachers. As okay, so far you're a church nepo stretches. baby. Yeah, I guess. When you went to church, were you kind of like, I'm a big deal? I I actually know God personally. And I'll <laughs> put in a word for you and your fucking cat or whatever. He's got a lot on. When his you went plate to right school now, but... too, were you like kind of cool because you were the teacher's kid? No, no. The teach. Oh, oh no. It was different schools. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My dad was like a history teacher. He was cool though. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I um, think he still is. You know? The like you said that you're the nepo to the. I do love the uh, the nepo parents sure. that try and bank like on their kid's success. Yeah, like, uh, I don't like that turn, at all. I think it's funny. It's abusive <laughs> when it's small children. It really bothers oh, me. Oh no, I'm talking like adults. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Like uh, Al Pacino's dad, Sal Pacino, who tried oh. to become an actor. <laughs> oh, that's fucking that's awesome. Funny. That's Tar- so- Tarantino's Drake, dad too. is the same way. What's he doing? Um, a lot. Of, uh, it's like Bobby Tarantino or yeah. something, and they're not um, like they weren't present in their kids' lives. In yeah, many yeah. Instances they're just like, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm actually his dad. Willow and, then, and Willow Smith's dad slapped a comedian at the yeah, Oscars yeah, or something, something like when that. no one ever heard from something him like again. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. George H. W. Yeah, right. <laughs> he went back in time and became president first. Yeah, yeah. He's fucking losers, you know. <laughs> I think, well, let's talk about the movie. Wait, answer your own question, though. What are you a Nepo baby of? Oh, uh, magnets. My Ah. dad uh, was a magnet (laughs) engineer. You're a magnet guy. So I love magnets. I have them in my purse right now. I always have magnets on me. My dad provides me my whole life. I've had access to magnets, big and small. Yeah. My, My toys at my dad's house were just magnets wow still i was like dad i need some cooler magnets and he was like i'll get you some <laughs> damn that was definitely the best answer of us three by yeah. far <laughs> i yeah. did not see magnets Ma- coming magnet nepo baby for sure yeah <laughs> don't let her near your silverware folks no nope. you know what i mean 
The other day um, I was looking at my car and I was like, what's stuck to the bottom? Bunch of magnets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was like, damn, I must have dropped them. You might have a problem. Um, <laughs> folks, we are going to do the movie. Drum roll, or I guess you guys just forgot. Somewhere. All right, yeah, get caught. Just, just, yo, uh, sorry. <laughs> Somewhere. Sorry, you give a man a sword, you know what I mean? Oh, um, yeah. And he bangs it on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Learn to fish. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> teach a horse they to fish. They didn't build ro- what okay. um shame on me <laughs> um <laughs> we're doing the movie somewhere yeah it's pretty good all right what's the snack today let's move on no uh, <laughs> this is a good movie. i don't know i like this movie a lot have you guys seen it before i had i didn't like it when i saw it and i didn't really like it again <laughs> all right. it's gonna be one of those episodes motherfucker <laughs> not like no, i don't care you know i didn't absolutely despise everything about it but it was just like it was like a movie about um, you know how boring and like empty the life of a star is. So they tried to like make the movie kind of boring too, and it was mm. just like uh, it just didn't really connect. I don't know. That's yeah. how I felt about it. I mean, look, it's not like Captain America: Winter Soldier, no, Danny. But no. you know, like <laughs> I wish, you, yeah, I wish you picked that. Yeah, that, no, that's, no, a, no. that's a good movie. Uh, <laughs> I mean, in a way, he is kind of a Winter Soldier because he's yes. in a solitary environment. You <laughs> You're know right. I mean? um, in America, that's the f- and I guarantee no one's ever made that comparison. Before. I'll give you that. <laughs> look, I think <laughs> the somewhere sure to Captain was. America: Winter Soldier pipeline pretty clear. All right, <laughs> yeah. I guess I watched it differently. Uh, I like this movie. All right, so this movie is about um, like a, a fictional famous actor in Hollywood played by Stephen Dorff, um, who's basically we kind of like uh, take a walk in a few days of his life and see what he does on a normal basis. And, you know, most of the movie takes place at the Chateau Marmont in L.A., which is like this ritzy hotel. And we kind of see the ins and outs of his life as a celebrity. We definitely get the idea pretty early on that he's uh, fairly miserable or at least uh, kind of despondent with like his lifestyle at this point. And uh, I don't know, like maybe 30 minutes into the movie, his daughter uh, pays him a surprise visit because her mom wants to go find herself or something. So he's kind of stuck with this fucking kid for a few days, which I don't know if you've ever been there before, but the worst, you know what I mean? Do you have a child? Huh? Oh, my God. I mean, ha- that I know of. Um, <laughs> I do have a child that I know of. Uh, and sometimes I got to watch this little fucker. And uh, let me tell you. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, obviously, he loves his daughter in this movie. Yeah. But they definitely have a kind of a strained relationship because of, you know, his celebrity. Um, and, uh, I, you know, from there, just things happen. There's a couple different. They go to Italy at one point. A lot of really cool scenic scenes. Um, I I like this movie. I definitely see what you're saying, Danny, about the slow pace and the kind of, I guess, hollow plot, you, you know, you could say. But I do think that Sofia Coppola is just a really great stylist. I think this movie looks amazing. Um, I love, I love the soundtrack. I mean... You can't really sell a movie on just a soundtrack because it's just songs, but I do like the way the soundtrack that soundtrack is great. Yeah, the way she mixes the music and the the cinematography is really good, and I actually think it's a deeper movie, especially like in the last twenty minutes. All these roots that you didn't really maybe notice kind of come to light for like what the story is about and what the themes are and everything. So I, I liked it. I didn't I hate know. it. Yeah, it's, didn't love it. Hmm. Um, I just wish he was more like I think Elf and exciting. Mm-hmm. Like I wish he was just a uh, yeah. I don't know. Like he well, just yeah. bored the shit out of me. I think that's the point. Yeah. I know. You know what I mean? But it, they succeeded. All right. Well, then it's a good movie, is what you're saying. <laughs> I don't understand. Does not compute. You know what I mean? I five Fanning stars. Five was, stars. Yeah. yeah I five thought stars. Elle Fanning was really really good on it. Yeah. She I is thought good. she was really, yeah. really good. She was great. Yeah, I mean, um, definitely like a couple f- good cameos too. Some cool ben- cameos. Benicio in the elevator. Chris Pontius plays a oh, really yeah, fun Chris role Pon- in the yeah, movie. Yeah. Apparently, he improvised all his lines, so it was like really fun to see his ten minutes of the movie. Really yeah, fun. yeah. I wanted more race car. 
Sure. More race car. There's a lot of race car, though. More race car. Sounds like you should just watch, like, uh, I watched Ferrari. Nights or I watched yeah, Ferrari right. afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> and then in Ferrari, I was like, this also needs more race car. Yeah. Need more race car. Not enough race car. <laughs> See, <laughs> this is just, yeah, a couple of Philistines <laughs> over here. I wanted more cars yeah. and chases and gunfights. No, I didn't dislike Sorry. it. No. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of Sofia Coppola. Um, I think this is probably the only one I've seen of hers. This is my favorite movie of hers. I've seen Priscilla with her, right? Yeah. Yeah. I never I saw, saw Lost in Translation. I don't really? Know. I don't know if I've seen Lost in Translation many moons ago. I like that one, Or if I've never too. seen it. Yeah. But I certainly don't remember shit about it. So. Mm. <laughs> you remember shit about it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't remember shit about shit. it. Shit. Yeah, you don't remember shit about fuck about that movie. I, don't I know remember you telling me that shit, before, dude. and I was like, why are you so mad about this? But, um... <laughs> No, I like this is my favorite movie of hers. I think, um, yeah, I guess it's a slow burn, but I don't it, mind a slow burn. Uh, yeah, Danny's an iPad baby. Remember that? I need, I need oh, buttons. Constant I need buttons. stimuli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't pick an episode of Bluey for time. you. Yeah, I need Bluey. <laughs> fucking baby. No, why, yeah, why didn't you pick Bluey? Because I'm not a baby, dude. Sorry, <laughs> this is adult entertainment yeah, for Bluey. adults. <laughs> adult entertainment. <laughs> And not the kind you like, yeah, the little yeah. dirty movies yeah. you watch. Give me something, right? give me something on your stimulate. sticky laptop, oh, yeah. your stained laptop. If you can dude. get it open, <laughs> yeah. every time he opens it, a couple keys pop <laughs> yeah. off. They're yeah. stuck, yeah. To, the, they're stuck <laughs> to the screen. You need a car jack for that uh, one. Yeah. Looks like an accordion. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, don't say car jack. Yeah, Kill. yeah you need a crowbar. Uh, yeah, you don't need another car jack. Oh, yeah. Okay? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tough because Danny doesn't even have a car. So it's yeah. just like whatever car is the closest. <laughs> right, yeah. Sticky, sticky back seat. Oh, no. Well, um, his Uber rating Ubers. is like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, look, I actually think this movie is also subtly about alcoholism in a way because a lot of this movie takes place like in that ten to twelve, ten to you know, noon, you know, period of the, like the day. You know, where like a lot of it's him just waking up and looking like just kind of miserable. You know. And there's like the contrast between what he does at night and just the emptiness. Like this movie's just kind of about emptiness, and I think it's as much about fame causing that as it is about like alcohol. Soul so. sucking loneliness. Yeah, you know, and the endings are like, there's like a symbolic thing at the end. I mm-hmm. think like the last shot is very symbolic, yeah. and it's kind of about him making a choice. Yeah. Know? So. And we're not going to say what the choice was. We won't say what the choice so was. Don't watch a movie. Yeah, ask. but let's just say Elle Fanning isn't in the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the just choice say was. He made the we're right choice. Let's just say he kills Elle Fanning's <laughs> character. Yeah. And Dakota, too, shows up. And yeah, and he kills her, too. It's yeah, crazy. It's insane. And all the Culkins show up. All the child stars. All the child stars. Dakota disappeared. Good for her. I hope she's happy. Well, she was in the Equalizer 3. Yeah, like Which I said, seems she up your alley. That seems like the kind of movie you <laughs> guys is, want yeah, to talk about. Yeah, yeah. fighting and, yeah. you know, button. Uh, give me some buttons. All you guys press. like is fucking Denzel Washington action movies. Yeah, yeah that sounds Blech. great. <laughs> no, it sounds, yeah, it's like, the greatest thing of all really, time. That sounds really, really good. <laughs> all right. Well, swinging a whiz by me, uh, you know. No, I don't think it was a miss. Just because Danny doesn't like it doesn't mean it's not good. Yeah, just because I don't like well, it. Well, you <laughs> seem like you just truly don't like it. Uh, I, yeah, I, re- I don't like this movie. Out of five <laughs> stars, how, what are we talking? Uh, two. Ah, yeah. Oof, ow. Don't ask me the question. How am I out of five? How many? Like two and a half. What are you talking about? So you don't like it? <laughs> What? Yeah. You've it's been lying 50. to me this whole time. You gave it a failing grade. Yeah, I I don't like a lot of like I'm I feel like I'm tough with stars. I'm not giving something a three unless I like. I'm oh know, I'm the unless opposite. Unless you're floored. I started at a five, and then I kind of tick yeah. off oh. as it goes. Yeah, listen, listen think... buddy, I did the same wow. thing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dude, all right. So in the first five minutes, there's a whole strip tease to My Hero by Foo Fighters. I and know. you didn't like this movie? <laughs> and then there's another one to That's the like song One Thing by like a, a Mary yeah. or whatever. I then like, like both yeah. five minutes later? Yeah. And just whew, nothing. No. Okay. Do you even like Chase? I don't even <laughs> think he liked it. Had you jerked it before you watched uh, it yeah. was it was jerking mid movie, so oh, I think I was done by the time by I jerked. Mid movie, the <laughs> I got child my, is there. No, no, I got my jerk you out during fuck. the car scene. Yeah, basically. you got a car jack out. <laughs> car hey. jack. You watch this. It's crazy because you drove us here, and boy, <laughs> yeah. Finish the movie, and there's a car jack involved. <laughs> oh yeah. God, I, I do like race cars. <laughs> yeah. Is, not to spoil Ferrari. If you haven't seen Ferrari, oh, yeah, t- tune out for a sec. The part in Ferrari where that car 
I haven't seen it. Oh. You haven't seen it? No. Oh, then we won't say it. Well, you know I have a feeling of... the car doesn't end up in a great position. Do, do you know the story? It's a real story. Of the Ferrari? Yeah. I mean, I Ferrari assumed it was based on a true story. I don't know no, the actual like, story. Yeah, there's, no, no, no. There's one part that right. I, I won't spoil for you. Yeah, but right. it is kind of the best. Okay, if, right. you, if, if you haven't seen Ferrari, <laughs> tune back in. Jesus Christ. Do you guys have it. race car beds? Is that <laughs> what you're yeah. sleeping in? I wish, <laughs> Man, all right. All right. Josh, have you seen somewhere? No. Nope. There's no way. Okay. I was going to say, there's just cars? no way that. No. You've never seen any race cars? Oh, yeah. I've seen race cars. I Pretty cool, cars right? You know, I'm in yeah. dire straits when I'm asking Josh what he thinks of it. You know what I mean? When <laughs> oh, you guys yeah. disliked it so much, I'm like, Josh, have you seen this uh, Sophia Coppola movie? Have you seen no. Regular Cars, the movie? Yes. Now that's a fucking movie. Oh my god. Long ago, <laughs> not so very long wow. ago. Wow. All right. That's well, the sad song from Cars. I, I guess I didn't really get the subtext, the car <laughs> subtext. Watching, I wasn't watching somewhere going, "Wow, great car movie." <laughs> no, no. It honestly isn't that good of a car movie because you're not seeing it do the laps for yeah. most of it. You're just hearing. You're just hearing yeah. race car noise. But then you got that like really great Phoenix song, you know, Love Like a Sunset comes in. You got a great Gwen Stefani song. Oh, yeah. fun. That's good. I really like, you know, I don't the know, it's, like a, it's a good vibey good. movie. Yeah. And yeah. you can also kind of put it on. It, you know, this is like a good movie to watch if you don't like necessarily want to watch a movie. It mm -hmm. sounds weird, but like. I like no, the I scene go, where yeah. they're making the mask. I yeah, like that which that's like a very good symbolic scene I'll give too. You that scene. Yeah, yeah. Just him sitting there and the thing is, yeah, right, I like so I'll that. Just bump it up a half star. Yeah, man. you know what? Maybe four stars. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> uh, let's go, Ash. Your rebuttal. I'll go three. Yeah. For you, baby boy. All right. Out of. 15. No. Fuck 15. You, what the fuck? What kind of star system is that? I don't want that? you to do that anymore. Why? <laughs> I didn't like that you were doing that. I was backing you up. I didn't like that you were doing I was doing backup farts. No, <laughs> I no. didn't like it. No one fair needs enough. backup farts, dude. <laughs> hey, fair enough. I don't even think we need primary farts. <laughs> Lead farts. We can't be a fart podcast, so no. this is the last time we're going to say it. And done. I find Never farts again. disgusting. No, we said it again. Yeah. Don't no. fart around me. Or where that's it. Fair that's enough. what we're done. Oh my, god. oh my fucking god! I wish we were back on the girls' episode. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think I don't like farts. Okay, okay. I wish one of us. Was, okay, okay. Yeah, and I'm okay. not gonna say which one. Okay. Danny. <laughs> Baby, I didn't say I wouldn't say it. Dude, um, my little rat brain is at every moment I'm trying not to sing BB <laughs> You so said bad. little rat brain. Yeah. I never said and, that. And sometimes. You, I said it this time. <laughs> sometimes when you have a, a little rat brain. Yo! BBL snack time. You wanna. Oh, stop. You wanna. What? On something. Yeah. And Ash, do you, do you think you could help with that? I'm not letting you judge me. <laughs> to be clear, stay stay within you know two or three feet of me. But yeah, um, I have a snack that you can have. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, by the way, somewhere is you can rent it for three bucks. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch it, Sofia Coppola. Yes, if you like what she's Sophia. doing, you're gonna like somewhere. Absolutely. Less Sofia Coppola, more Sofia Vergara. There, I love. Oh, well, her. hey, we I never said that they're not both invited good. to the slumber party. I guess they both can come. I, yeah. What was that line I really liked from Modern Family? Well, I, you can't say it. I don't want to do an impression of most of the characters on that show. You can, you can <laughs> do like one or two. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Ed O'Neill. <laughs> I think that's about as yeah. far as I can go. All right. You guys ready for snack? Let's see it. Here, pass no, this one. Oh. Your paper. And I Josh, love not the, the greasy feeling one. of this. I okay. love holding it. I'm going to tell you guys what I did here, okay? okay. I, um, okay. I made another sandwich. They didn't have ciabatta bread, so I used a croissant. You guys can start opening it. Just okay. open it. It might be messy, okay? Ooh. And I don't. I didn't. Also, didn't try eating it. Dude, this is awesome. Ooh. So it's it's cro a toasted croissant. Oh my god. Um, uh, seared peaches, hot honey, pesto, and then like salt and pepper. I wanted to get arugula, wow. but it was too expensive. To oh, justify. Man. I might black out while I'm eating this. Yeah, I'm is so it good? hungry. That's I didn't really try it. Good. I didn't try it before I brought mm. it. Mm. Dude, come on. Nailed it. Is mm. it good? Yeah, it is good. So good. I also brought us napkins, but I don't know where they went. Oh, Danny took them. That's cool. Called my shirt. Bottom um, of my shirt. I had just been called to. It's peach season, it's the summer. Mm hmm. Um, and I've been called to grill some peaches. 
Mm. And I was like, how can I build my snack around doing just that? God damn. There's nothing better than mozzarella and pesto. Oh, it's burrata. Oh, well, either way. This is really fucking good. Yeah, for I don't think I said that I put burrata on there. Oh, I haven't even had it. I just got to the peach. It's so good, right? Yeah. Napkins are... I can go Here. try and find some. No, it's all good. Oh, thanks, man. Um, Appreciate it. I'd ask to share. I'll, I'd offer to share, but I need all of these from you. <laughs> I'm kind of in a situation over here. I added chili to the honey myself. And I feel. I wish I put Thank a you. little bit more. I wish there was a little more of a kick. No, I, I mean, look, I, I'm not going to. It's it's great. I don't, I don't have any, like, real Feedback. rebuttal to that. Yeah, it, it's really good. It's really unique mix of flavors and, and textures. Kind wow. of like a Sofia Coppola movie. There's a lot of interesting <laughs> dynamics coming together. And to it the, doesn't look very boring. If you're though. not a, a savant, no. it might taste like shit because you want, you know, <laughs> the Oreo version or something. You want a K- Kentucky Fried Chicken. But this, <laughs> this is for, you know, an advanced palate of sorts. I'll say this too. They're so good. I'm, I'm just critiquing my own snack. At, I wanted it to be ciabatta bread, so it'd have a little bit more of a crisp. That's fair. Um, Because croissant, especially with it, I made it right before we came, but I saw it to late drive here. Um, It's a little soggier than I would like. I wanted the bread to be a little crispier, but I did the best I could. They didn't have ciabatta. The flavor of the croissant, I hear what you're saying, but the the flavor of the croissant makes up for maybe a little bit of softness. That otherwise the ciabatta wouldn't have had, and it, and it fucking works. It works. It's great. Yeah, really, really good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Great snack, Ash. Is there a restaurant called Ciabatta Ciabatta Bing? Ciabatta Bing. Is that a thing? Look it up, Josh. Please, Ciabatta boy. <laughs> Josh, did you like the sandwich? Uh, I don't like pesto. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Josh, get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> out of five. Boo. <laughs> what are the ratings? From Four. Captain America than... winner. Hey. Is it? Okay. Yeah, is it Captain America winner soldier? It's kind of a somewhere then. Or it's kind it of a somewhere, somewhere? yeah. <laughs> Josh, right. since you have thoughts on it, do you do you feel like it could be more spicy? I feel like the spicy isn't hitting the way I wanted it to. Well, um, yeah, I mean, it, I, I always like spice. Um I love the cheese. I love the peaches. The croissants good. It's just the pesto throws me off. Yeah, my really? my yeah, my wife made a mm. lot of pesto when we're broke, and I'm just pestoed out. She doesn't yeah, make just... you pesto. That's a dope. <laughs> That's a long job, right? Don't you have to go out into the fields and pick some? Well, whatever she made had pesto in it. I don't think she fucking made it for. Oh, <laughs> no, okay. Oh, oh, she like cooked. Pe- okay. <laughs> she was a cheater. No. <laughs> you can tell y'all have a real good thing going, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. When we were fucking broke and this fucking bullshit pesto, fuck me. Dude, yeah. She held you down. She held you down. Yeah, and that's all you talk about her. Yeah, force fed him we, we, fucking pesto. We've all, we've all sat down and and talked. To, like my kids have literally yelled, "Yeah, Dad's cooking tonight." So. Oh no! Oh, are you a good cook? <laughs> I can I can't bake at all. That's okay. I can barbecue like oh really, nice. Really well. That's as the dude. Mm-hmm. That's that's yeah. That's the only thing. My father in law went to prison and is a bodybuilder. And the only thing mm-hmm. he lets me do that's like manly around him is you do the grill. That's the mm-hmm. only thing. Everything that's else. That's a high is like, honor. Very much so. For a father in law to mm-hmm. to be like you man the grill. Yep. Yeah. I I, I just want to say baking dudes can be good at baking too, and women can grill. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I don't want that to be the clip that takes me down. <laughs> yeah, the one, the one you put together. I'm not, I'm not gonna let you have that one. <laughs> cancel army. You know, yeah, you're not getting that one. Army. All right. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's not just man's work, yeah. like we all believed for years right, and years. Right. <laughs> Actually, I've never met a woman who can who's like, damn, that girl can barbecue. I'm never. I'm yeah. not saying there isn't one. I'm just saying I've never met one. Well, I have plenty of lady friends who name, three. <laughs> name three girls that can barbecue. Uh, Ashley Sh- Vegetarian. Sheridan. <laughs> Ashley Sheridan. Uh, Casey Marriott and Hotel Paris Hilton. <laughs> yeah. Paris Hilton. Chateau Marmont. That's one. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pesto Coppola. Oh, Pesto Coppola. Yeah. I. 
I know them. The, oh. the whole crew. The whole crew's got their spatulas out. <laughs> Sounds like a Bluey character. <laughs> now, that would have been a good pick if he had done that. Yeah, of somewhere. Well, that's what I was saying. <laughs> you probably would like it if I picked a fucking Bluey episode, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bright colors keep you entertained. Oh, shit. You know? And I was really hungry. You're annoyed yeah, that Stephen Dorff didn't that. look directly at the camera and, like, bring you into yeah, it. You know, yeah. I was like, should we go? <laughs> kill myself or something like that right you know? that's kind of what i was hoping for honestly okay interesting wait i have something to say what do you have to say the loudest clap i've ever heard dude i don't know the rest of that song wow. that's that's all you need i think that's really the whole thing that's the Ash, whole that was delicious that was hey. really really good it was kind of a snack for you guys but mostly i was like i'm so hungry <laughs> What was um, I supposed to look up? Ciabatta what? Ciabatta. Ciabatta bang. bang. Ciabatta, yeah. You're supposed to look up Ciabatta. <laughs> ciabatta bang. Yeah, I mean, you don't even. <laughs> ciabatta bang, ciabatta boom. Mm, uh, uh, oh, oh, it's it like, like the name of a dish. It's the name of a dish, yeah. Mm, damn it. What is the definition Back of ciabatta Back to square bread? one. What makes it different? Like, I know what, I know how to make focaccia. Mm. But why is why is it? You know, sl by a slipper shape and extremely porous, ciabatta dough is wet. The way it makes it sound is gross. It's ciabatta like... dough is wet and sticky with hydration levels often 80% or higher. Whoa. That was for my <laughs> ASMR listeners. Yeah. I don't oh, know if okay. I want my bread wet. I don't know if that's a selling point for bread. Baked with a stronger flour. What, like? It's like dad left early. <laughs> he, <was just> like, <laughs> he had to be the man of the house. Early. Yeah. Wow. Now that's a man's baking right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a or a woman. Or Good. she could do the ciabatta. Insert bread. or a woman here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Speaking I don't of, eat meat, and I bet I could grow better than both of y'all. Uh, yeah. I, yes. You're right. That's definitely true. You're right. Yeah. I used to work at a meat market. Oh, you know? nice. I used to make sausage. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You knew how the sausage These was hands made. have made so much yeah, sausage. Yeah, you knew how the sausage make was a, made. Hey, I'll take a regular size sausage, and he'd give him one that's like two inches. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. That is you, dude. Wow. It's more of an English English banger than it is. <laughs> that's what I call my little guy down there. English um, banger. Sometimes when you have an English <laughs> banger, you need a story. I'm actually, I don't think I'll need the, the music for okay. this. I'm, I'm doing a little, little spin on this today. I gave you guys um, uh, a prompt. I like the music. And uh, we could do the music. It might be, you know what? Do the music. Can Let's... you play My Hero by Foo Fighters? That actually, no, no, no. no. If you could play like a karaoke version of My Hero, that's that's perfect. Nice. Um, that you... Actually, that's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, so I um, I told you guys, I, well, basically, the movie Somewhere, at this point. So good. It's, it's been established <laughs> not my favorite movie of all time. In fact, I thought it was kind of boring as shit. All right? But you hate most movies directed by women, if I'm correct. So that's part of it. But mm -hmm. what I'm talking about today um, is I, uh, I'm very fascinated at the idea uh, we saw this a little bit with the movie Anatomy of a Fall that uh, came in uh, or came out movie. last year, and uh, the dog in that movie was at all the red carpet events, and mm -hmm. uh, which I'm sure was fun for him and not scary at all. Well, right, <laughs> I, I know it's it probably was very terrifying, but yeah. I thought I think what might make this better is replacing <laughs> Stephen Dorff, an actor, um, with a dog actor in somewhere. In somewhere, I think it would have made for a better movie. Yeah, I'm mean, sure you would want it to be Elf bluey or mom. something. <laughs> yeah. That's probably yeah. the dog you'd want. You, what you want an Air Bud in there? Um, can we get my hero playing? <laughs> movie opens. So this is somewhere. <laughs> this is funny. Stephen Johnny Marco is a dog. Um, movie opens with a wait, black. Wait, 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 wait. Johnny Marco Stephen, is the Stephen Dorf as a dog. Oh, okay, like, got, here it, we go. got it. Movie opens. Johnny Barco with a black Ferrari driving in circles. <laughs> Can we turn down my hero just a just little? Just a little bit. Can you turn it down? And Ashley's up in mine. <laughs> <laughs> and can we turn Danny off completely? To turn Danny off completely, get yeah. the real version in there, the um, live one. Johnny Marco. Okay, movie opens with a black Ferrari driving in circles. Johnny Marco, a beautiful Labrador Retriever, crashes it immediately because he's a dog. 
This life filled with drugs, booze, and sex has left this canine feeling empty. <laughs> yeah, you heard that right. <laughs> wow. This pup okay? fucks. <laughs> yeah, you, that's why you want it. That's why you want it to be a dog. Yeah. You sick and fuck. I don't You're, mean other dogs. Is this bestiality? He's plowing Hollywood tents. Wow, dude. <laughs> don't st- is he okay? But he was just in a car accident, right? I, and you're supposed to expect people to take your movie criticism seriously. <laughs> <laughs> He's living in the Chateau Marmont with a broken paw. Oh, my God. Hooking up with two twin pole dancing cats. <laughs> living the fucking dream, dude. When all of a sudden, a young blonde girl, about 11 years old, with a tail and whiskers, comes to his door. It's his daughter. His ex-wife is skipping town. His ex-wife is played by Jessica Chastain in what some are calling her most zoophilic role. Johnny's what? life is mostly him <laughs> taking questions at press conferences. He doesn't understand the questions because he's a dog. They put the plaster on his face to make a prosthetic mask. It takes a long time because he keeps licking the plaster um, off his face. He goes to Vegas. Everyone's cheering him on at the craps table. Goes through about 12 pairs of dice because he keeps chewing them up. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway. Oh, I get it. It's like he's doing dog stuff. He's doing oh, dog I get it. stuff. So it's like if you put a dog in the movie somewhere. That's what I was I'm doing. I'm just yeah. now getting it. Okay. And um, so <laughs> movie ends with him feeling contemplative, looking down the road. A mailman drives by. He loses his shit and chases him down the road. Mm-hmm. That would have been a better movie. Oh, wow. <laughs> Get this man in a this fucking horse shit that you wrote. First of all, it's already been made. It's called uh, Turner and Hooch. <laughs> yeah. That's Turner and <laughs> Yeah, that is Turner and Hooch. But I asked you guys if there are any movies that um, you think might be improved if an animal actor played a role in the film. Yes, I've, I've thought of mine. Okay. I thought of it two seconds ago. Fair enough. I think the movie... Um, <laughs> My sister's keeper would be better. Okay. If the the daughter that they keep, they keep, you know, they're stealing from one kid. I want that kid to be human. And they're giving parts of the human to the dog. Okay. Like they're slowly killing, like they're taking the kidney from their human kid yeah. to heal their sick dog. The sick dog? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. And then the kid takes him to court and is like, you can't keep. <laughs> I don't want to grow up with one kidney. Yeah. Mm. You guys have to let the dog go. No. But and the then, dog, wow. spoiler alert. Okay. Th- it turns out in the end that the dog was the one making the sister go to court because he was like, I want to die. Yeah. Oh. Stop giving me human parts. Shit. Yeah. That is okay. a spoiler. All right. Have you, were you planning to see My Sister's Keeper? Probably not, but yeah. that's a great idea. I'm watching it right now, but I'll stop because <laughs> you ruined the whole thing for me. Um, yeah, that's what, that would be my idea. Yeah. Okay, what if I wrote down like a bunch? I like that. Yeah, yeah. List let me them just off. let me just you list did them a bunch? off. Oh my god. I mean, I just I mean, I didn't, I didn't put much thought into them. I didn't do what you guys did and like think of the plot really. But um, seventh seal. Yeah, like with a seal. Okay. Um, oh, these are okay. It, it doesn't have to be a dog. Is it the grim the grim reaper is played by a seal? I've actually never seen this movie, but mm, is he playing? Yes, death chess? is played by a seal. Okay, he's yeah, chess. he's playing chess with uh, the main <laughs> yeah. character. That's good. That's fun, right? Yeah. Metallica, some kind of monster. Remember okay. that documentary? I never saw it. Yeah, but, it's um, just like a dog giving therapy to Metallica. Yeah, that's you know good. I mean? That's really good. Um, or maybe he's Lars Ulrich. You yeah. know, <laughs> yeah. Hey. B- Bark Ulrich. <laughs> Bark Ulrich. Uh, oh, um, yeah. You got the best one. Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy, but he's like a possum. <laughs> possum, 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 possum. <laughs> This Challengers, good, but Zendaya is a cat and the dogs are boys. Yes, that's good. That's Not really that that movie needs improvement. Is it's everyone else humans movie. in this in that setting? I guess, but they're really the only people in the movie. There's that's like two true. other people with. I guess at one point, if it's a Danny movie, one of the dogs fucks a human person or <laughs> right. something like that. <laughs> Challengers yeah, yeah. would yeah, be fun. Yeah, I'll give you your sick kicks here. Thank you, know? you. Challengers Thank would you. also be fun. Gotta if put asses Zend- in seats, dude. <laughs> if Zendaya and like Mike Feist were humans, but the other guy was a dog. So that Josh every O'Connor. time he would hit the tennis ball, he would just be the dog would just go fetch it, yeah. and bring it back to him. Yeah, that's Aww. good. That's really good. That might be sweet. <laughs> and, he, and he'd want that Dunkin' Donuts sandwich even more. Oh you know? yeah, like, that's yeah. yeah. He loved exactly churros. The same. You know what yeah. I mean? That's funny. You kind of compared us to like challengers, Ashley, yes, me, and I Danny, did. and if I was you... like, I'm kind of like Josh O'Connor. And then I thought of all that it would entail, you know. And I was like, well, never mind. Hard backtrack. Yeah. I was just thinking the whole like broke, you know, uh, eating fast food all the time. Thing. I also think there were like elements of his life that they didn't uh, t- 
totally reveal that made yeah. it seem much yeah. darker. Like mm-hmm. he was like scratching his arm at p- parts, and I thought like a heroin thing was gonna come oh. up at one point, but um, they didn't I go didn't. there. Yeah, and maybe that's not at all. Wait, what they I was intended. gonna say I didn't. It was more like a bruise on his arm. I we went to like, the bathroom, so and I no. was like, <laughs> that, "That's not what a track lo- mark looks like." Danny. And I would know. Um, I think Challengers reminds me of you guys because I think you guys want to kiss. I think you guys kiss sometimes. No, that's what I meant when I said hard backtrack. Kiss, kiss, kiss. No, <laughs> been there, done that. No thanks. Have you guys yep. kissed before? Oh I yeah. Don't know if we have. Oh, we <laughs> were mar- we were married for three years, so I would hope so. Oh, I would yeah. hope we kissed a couple times. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, we got a kid together. <laughs> that was the craziest answer. I don't know. If we're <laughs> kiss. Yeah. I legit what? Don't know. Danny's kissed. Hey. I've kissed some friends. Danny's okay. kissed some Josh, friends. you're next. Hey. Oh, hey. When you're on hey. the road, don't dude, press your lips, when you're dude. On the road, <laughs> mouth, <laughs> road is a, life. a mouth is a mouth. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> a hole is a hole, wherever it is. <laughs> Both of your holes are, yeah. are a whole lot of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we listen to a lot of Hole too. Oh, Good yeah, band. Um, you guys I got a few more here if you don't yeah, mind. No, I, Eight I, Mile, but he's an actual bunny rabbit. Okay, you yes, know what I mean. Yes, um, that's good. Uh, let's Ooh, see. Do Schindler's List. I thought of Schindler's List. It sounds too. like you just did, Josh. <laughs> Schindler's List. You have free will. You could have yeah, said Schindler's yeah, List. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Schindler's Pit, Pitbull. All right. Uh, no, I got to work on it. Um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. That's all. Uh, Super yeah. High Me, the Doug Benson <laughs> take on yeah. Super is... Size Me. Yeah, dude. And he's just like a big old fucking like bear, panda bear, getting high, smoking oh, yeah. doobies. <laughs> okay, I want to do a backwards one. Zootopia, but um, the fox is a real life man and I can kiss him. Wow. Oh, oh nice. Who says he needs to be a man? <laughs> you think it could be a woman, or are you saying I kiss it's kiss the fox. fox? Yeah, yeah. Kiss the fox. I mean, I'm down for I guess kiss any the fox. Of them. I guess you you grew up thinking that wasn't okay or something. There's also a tiger in that movie that just has no dialogue. He's just like in the background, sitting on the bus. That movie gets real heavy handed. He's in pretty the last, hot. Like 20 minutes. <laughs> the tiger's hot. Yeah. I don't. I saw it once, and I I have not revisited it. It does I like guess. the happy feet thing, where it like gets like the last 30 minutes, it becomes like a humanitarian it's about the movie. Environment. You know, like, <laughs> me, me, yeah, me, yeah. me, shut it's up. It's like, dude, I go to the, a matinee of a kid's movie by myself <laughs> to let loose and enjoy yeah. myself. I'm trying to have to think about shit, man. Be with my people, yes. you know what I mean? Yes. I went yeah. to the baby day viewing of Zootopia. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm getting hit over the head with social <laughs> shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I w- if I saw you at the baby day viewing <laughs> Zootopia, I'd hit you over the head with a, a couple of things. I got a couple kids. <laughs> they weren't with me, but I got right. them. They're you out got, there. Yeah, Just because you, know you got them doesn't doesn't mean that you're their father. Well, <laughs> they're sure coming to me with their hands out. And the out, cops made much. you give them back. So. All right, that's a whole different episode. We don't want to get into that for legal reasons. But anyways, right. fun game, Danny. Um, What's yeah. that song from so Zootopia? That was, um, that was this little thought experiment. <laughs> What's the Shakira song from Zootopia? Uh, I don't know. Hips don't lie. I think it was hips don't <laughs> lie. I think you're thinking of hips don't lie. That's right. Yeah. Forever. That was it. Which one? I, that's all I can think of. Is it's like. Yeah. But what is this song? Oh, you got it. I'm just Jenny from the block. Yes. Oh, that's it. Shakira. You're thinking of Jenny Um, from the block by Shakira. I'm a genie in a bottle. You gotta (laughs) rub me me the right right way. Wow, you got sad there, Ash, after that. I can't, I cannot. It's gonna bother me for the rest of my life. We'll find it. We'll find it. We'll figure it out. All right. Josh is typing it in. Um, what, what, Shakira, Shakira, song? Shakira, Zootopia, try everything. That's not, I should know it still. Like, I, why is that not telling try me? Try everything, try everything. Let's hear it. You don't know, try everything. It's Ash, it's <laughs> oh try everything. Right? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I'm listening to it. Let's hear Oh, that, that bull is oh, this is kind of slaps. Nice. I feel like I don't. Uh. That's the fuck. Hey. Okay. Well, that's fun. I I thought I would know more of that song, but I didn't. I won't get it. Uh, 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 <laughs> you got it. It's probably some Spanish the in there. The fox was naked you know? there. He usually wears clothes. Wow. Shakira. Okay, Shakira. She's looking good, man. 
good. She does look good. Yeah. All right. Well, Anyways. there comes a time whenever show. It's usually around this time when we just start blatantly Googling things and yeah, watching YouTube videos. Like, where it's like, maybe hot. we should wrap up this. <laughs> She's hot, too. Holy shit. I would, would. <laughs> wood plus wood extra. I don't want to yeah. hear about wood your wood, wood extra. Oh, okay. Yeah, come on. Yeah. I'm sick of hearing hey. about your wood hey, on and off here. Hey, it's more like a toothpick, you know what yeah. I mean? Hey, hey. Uh, my penis is like small. A- more like half a toothpick. All right. That you didn't someone, have to downgrade that someone, toothpick. That I mean, someone I think... chewed on the end of. <laughs> All right. <laughs> have you ever seen a penis that goes in a couple different directions? Okay. That's Murphy's. It's got splinters. <laughs> it's frayed. <laughs> so at this point in the show, we vote someone out. And I think I just decided who mine is. <laughs> Um, and we base it on just whatever we want, right. you know. So Usually sorry. the contributions, but I feel like this episode we're gonna kind of get wild. I'm this so is sorry get that a I said your crazy. penis is frayed. Ask your first, because you're snack. <laughs> mm, wow. Hmm. They're both so good. They're both really good. I I liked the movie. No, you didn't. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> you said you didn't. <laughs> Okay. The two and a half. I don't like your tone. I didn't sir. have a tone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a tone. I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Danny? No tone. Oh wow. Um. But you were clearly writing this story as we walked down the stairs to get in here. You fell down the stairs because you were writing it so hard. Oh no, I I really wasn't. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah. Um. I had that already done. Yeah. And it's I don't so know if that makes obvious it better. to vote out Danny. So what were you watching or doing on your phone? I was... Um, yeah, wait, what were you watching? I actually don't. Were you looking at girls on Instagram? <laughs> no. Ladies, if your man doesn't have an no. answer right away... I said what it was, porn. and I'm not even Pull sure if I can likes. put it out there. <laughs> Pull up your likes. Can you do that? I'll say do they track afterwards. your likes anymore? Oh, yeah, you can find their likes. Okay. <laughs> I know, because I found... That's, a, I gotta go. I'll be right back. Yeah, I, I clear some... I'm gonna say why I know that... They, you can track your likes, and then I'm going to vote somebody off. I know that you can track your likes because I was trying to find a video that was a dub of Kyrie and LeBron um, and Luca to the to the big fight in uh, Shark Tales. Is that what that movie's Shark called? Shark Tale? Is that what that movie's yeah, called? The, Shark Tale? The, yeah. You know, the part where he's like, <laughs> he's talking about like, who loved you when you were nobody? And he's like, I did. And it's LeBron I, that's talking crazy. to Kyrie. And I was trying to find that video, and I had to go to my likes to find it. Mm-hmm. And number two, I vote out Danny. Oh, oh I like how you did that there. Yeah, I had to do both. Um, I mean, sorry, dude. I I actually feel like it should have been me, but uh, I have to vote you out, too, because yeah, the you, sandwich was heavenly. It really was good. Yeah. No, Such a good sandwich. I thought it would be me L. for sure. All right, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to say who you would have voted for? Um, Anyways, guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Danny. Get out of here, but get out of here, big. Don't you have somewhere to be? Yeah, he's got somewhere to be. Um, who do you want to win the NBA Finals? Well, I mean, at this point, it's probably we're probably at least one game into it when this comes out. Um, but at the time of this recording, it's looking pretty like we know who's going. It's pretty much chalk at this point. Yeah. I mean, statistically, it's impossible for anyone but the Mavs or Celtics. But AD, uh, not AD, Anthony Edwards has that thing where he's like, hey, I went into the locker room and I told everyone, let's make history. And you kind of are like, it scares you a little bit. So I wonder if when this episode comes out, it's like we're we're about to have game seven or something of Mavs, Timberwolves. That'd be nuts. That'd be crazy. But I don't think it's going to happen. Mavs roster just goes a little deeper. And those folks are stepping up in a way that, like, not even Ant and Cat are stepping up. They're killing and, it. I mean, they're I mean, they're great, but yeah. they're. I think they need to give like a little more. Like, oh no, I mean the Mavs are fucking. Oh, the Mavs are incredible. It. It's just it sucks because I love Anthony Edwards. I I'm well, sexually attracted to him. I think. Well, he's and 22. I've said that a so lot, let's relax and I, it's kind of weird because he's like 22, yeah, and I've been super. very open with like everyone. Like, dude, I would let him. I mean, Go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. And I get really detailed with it, and people are like, "Stop!" And I'm like, "No, but like, wait for this part." No, we're gonna talk. About this on yeah, the yeah, home. it's a little, and I forgot he's like a child, and he's I'm very sorry. young. He's yeah, very, yeah. very young. Um, um, 
But what was I gonna say? I don't know. I don't remember either. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Oh no, I remember. I wanted. I don't care. I don't give a fuck about the Pacers, Celtics series. The Pacers. That, that can be a sweep. Fuck I don't the care. Pacers, dude. I know I'm a Knicks guy, but they robbed us of what would have been probably a more interesting series. Like, I'm not saying the Knicks would have done anything with the Celtics, but you at least would have gotten two games in yeah. in the Mecca. You at least would have had fun storylines. Yeah, the Pacers, the... ugh, they're boring. Bunch of fucking dorks. I love Ant. I want the Mavs to win mm-hmm. the whole thing. Yeah. But I wanted a little bit more of a series. Yeah. It might be over. Well, every <laughs> game has been good. So there's yeah, that. Yeah, good. I just yeah. want more basketball. At this For point, sure. I get this feeling in my chest that soon there's going to be no basketball. Well, and I then think it'll be draft stuff. It's going to be Mavs, Celtics, and I really don't know. I, I go back and forth. I, I feel I'm, like people are underrating the Celtics, but at the same time, the Mavs just have that fire in their eyes where they're like, we're just going to destroy everything. I no. hate the Celtics. Yeah, um, me but too. I do feel like people are underrating them. I think it'll be seven. I think it'll go seven. That'd That's be my prediction. Awesome. I think it's going to be a seven. I would love for it to go seven, mm-hmm. and I'd love for the Mavs to take it all. Um, and I'm happy for my boy Luca. Yeah. He, he deserves it. And that it. team has just been great. I love Luca. I love that he looks Lively like he works at a GameStop. Yeah. You know what I mean? He just has that. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's leaned up a little, if you can even bit. call it. But I've heard that it's because he was drinking so much sweet tea. Yeah. And they had to take away his sweet tea and be like, you can't drink this much sweet tea anymore. Is he slimmer? I feel like he's got like party girl face. He's always looking puffy and like he's always well, kind of like slimmer, he's got the bags under the eyes and stuff. Yeah. My gosh, what a special little guy he is. I love him. Um, and I don't have any sexual feelings towards him or anything. <laughs> yeah, why would you? I He's like his of game. Age. He's yeah, yeah. 25 years old. Well, so is Anthony pa- Edwards. Past, so put it out there. past Murphy's <laughs> expiration date. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's been Scumber Party. It's Movie Snack Scary Story. You get it? Uh, Ash is you. at dad underscore Ash. <laughs> I'm at... Uh, shut up underscore Shut Murphy. up underscore Murphy. Josh Cabaza is at at Josh Cabaza. Yeah. And you can check out ComedyFrequency.com at ComedyFrequency.com. And follow us on Instagram, Scumber Party. Uh, and we yep, love you. Nothing I said is legally binding in this episode. We love you. Bye.